Hey guys, how you doing? I'm praying that no matter how you got here, that the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Thank you so much for joining me just for a few moments here. Hey, this past Sunday, we said that God is faithful. We've been looking at the attributes of God, and this past week, we talked at length about God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness to his covenant, God's faithfulness to his people, and his covenant promises to his people. And God never fails. 100% of the time, God does 100% of what he says he's going to do. This is the way we said it. Repeat it after me. If God said it, he will do it. One more time. If God said it, he will do it. God is not a man that he should lie, but he is faithful to keep all of his promises to us. At the end of the service, what I said I want you to do as a homework assignment is to take make a list of five ways that God has been good to you. If you weren't here Sunday, that's okay. You can do that right now. In fact, pause this video. We have the technology. And I want you to just write five ways that God has been faithful to you. I know that there's five million ways, but I just want you to condense it down to five. You probably can find five over the last two days of ways that God has been faithful to you and has kept you. Then, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to write five things that you're concerned about. Five things that leaves you anxious, that keeps you up at night, makes you worry. How are you going to get through this? What are you going to do? How are you going to say this? What's going to happen? Five things that you're worried about, okay? Now, the next thing I want you to write is just one statement, and it's this. If God was faithful to me then, he will be faithful to me now. If God was faithful to me in the five ways that we listed, God will be faithful in the five ways that we are worried. God is faithful to us. And around these parts, I can never talk about God's faithfulness without remembering the faithfulness of God to this church. I want to show you something. This is a picture from 1929. <laughs> This, beloved, is Ceres Christian Church. And here's something crazy about it. By the time this picture was taken in 1929, the church was already 11 years old. So, why am I showing you an old picture? People long gone. Because I have, I can put my fingers on evidence that God has been faithful to us throughout wars, throughout the Great Depression, even throughout the mighty 2020 pandemic. God has been faithful to this church. And I am so looking forward to what God is going to do. I, I just know this, people have been telling me this now, and, and I believe it's true, that God is about to do something incredible in and through Serious Christian Church. God is going to use us for His glory to impact our community in ways that we've never seen before. Now, how do I know that? I sound pretty confident, don't I? Man, you sound pretty confident. I, I'm totally confident. You know why? Because God has always been faithful to this church. God has always been faithful to us. And if he did it then, he's going to do it now. Because if God said it, he will do it. What did he say? Upon this rock I will build my church and the very gates of hell shall not prevail. Our God said it and he will do it. He's faithful. All right, beloved, I'll see you next week. God bless you.